This is an overview of the Hotspots widget by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the Hotspots widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it allows you to add spots on your image on a Y and X axis and add a tooltip to those points. You can also make each point a link. So let's get started and go over the settings. The first setting is for an image. I'm just going to upload a different image over here of this car. And I'm going to click over here, insert media. It's going to replace my image. And the next part is actually to add the spots on the car. So over here in items, as you can see, we have one item currently. So the first text over here in the title is for the text inside of the hotspot. So you can change that. You can change the horizontal placement using this slider and the vertical placement using this slider. Over here, the background color of each hotspot, some tooltip text. So for example, if you want to just change this to just the word awesome, you can do that as well. And a ripple color. The ripple color is this uh, effect that's going around the hotspot itself. This is just so users know that they can hover over this. And uh, you can also add a link to each hotspot if you want to link this to different pages. Let's add a new hotspot by clicking add item. And you can see it adds it over here. We can change the text to two, for example, and move the horizontal placement and the vertical placement. Take in mind that wherever you put your hotspot, this uh, position will be uh, also in tablet and mobile. You don't need to make special adjustments for tablet and mobile. We have positioned the hotspots using percentage. So no matter where you position them, the same position uh, will occur in different screen resolutions. So these are the settings that we have inside. Let's just add another one so it will look nice. And number three, and we can move this uh, over here, maybe a little bit down, maybe bring it back to the middle a little bit. Let's say the door. Great, so this is looking good. Just so you know, you can also add even larger text over here. So for example, if the word is larger, then uh, the hotspot will adapt, even though the default is just a circle hotspot. So just so you know that, you can add a full word over here and not just a number or a letter, for example. Inside of the general settings, you can trigger the, uh, the hotspots by click. So for example, if I click now, then I only will see the tooltip over here. So that's good for mobile devices, for example. And let's jump into style. Inside of style, the options that we have over here are spot size. We can make all our spots bigger. We can make uh, the radius less round. So right now you see there were circles. So I just made them squares by changing the spot radius to zero. You can have a subtle roundness if you want to. Tooltip color is for the color of the tooltip up here. So you can change that to whatever color you want. Uh, spot text color is for the text inside. So let's just change this to a different color just so you can see the change. You can see the color inside is changing. And of course, we can change the typography of this to whatever we want. If you want to make it a bit bigger or something like that, you can do that as well. Awesome. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.